and another edition of InsideAngeloSports.com today joined by the wide receivers as uh, spring practice is uh, closing down just a couple more to go uh, fellas uh, maybe CJ can you start off just talking about today's practice and uh, what it was like today's practice was pretty good we had a, a game tempo indie tempo um, we came back we didn't have a good practice on last Friday so we came back and we thought everybody did pretty good <clears throat> okay um, just talk about the offense as a whole. Maybe uh, Donnell, you're one of the older guys on the team. Uh, you talk about this offense and, and how things are coming together. Uh, I feel like we're clicking a lot more. You know, once we're getting the plays down, we're getting the signals. I feel like a lot of things are coming together. It's 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 more intense than what it used to be. So it's it's just high octane out there, and we're just getting it. Okay, uh, you mentioned high octane and, and explosiveness. Maybe uh, you guys are one of the more explosive and exciting groups. Um, on this team, uh, Dakar, maybe can you mention, um, I guess, just how things are going and, and how excited you are for next year? I mean, I'm really excited. Uh, for a couple of years, we've had the same receiving core, uh, same guys coming back. So uh, they expect a lot of leadership out there from the receivers, and that's what we try to give them. Uh, we try to provide excitement and, you know, like we, things we've done in the past. So we try to take this offense and run with it and just make the best of it and take over this team. Okay, uh, all of you have sort of a unique perspective being on the field and, and going against the defensive backs and seven on sevens. And um, Can you maybe talk about the, the defense and, and what you see that you like? Defense is great, honestly. I think this is the best defense I've seen since I've been here. Coach Wagner and, and the coaches, defense coaches got the secondary looking right, looking really good. Um, for us, it's, it's really, I feel like they're the best DB core in the, in the nation, so we're going against them every day. It's only making us better. All right, uh, quarterback position is, is another position that's uh, sort of go undergoing some change. Um, can you talk about maybe what you've seen from uh, the guys out there competing for the job? Uh, they're really competing hard. I mean, um, everybody wants it. Everybody's going after it. They all come out playing hard, playing ready, playing fast. Um, so the way I see it, I mean, anybody you put in there right now, we're going to win games. So. All right, uh, first, uh, I guess, Already had one scrimmage, but uh, the, the final scrimmage uh, coming up, the spring game on Sunday. Um, you guys talk about that a little bit and, and how excited you are to get out there and, and maybe go full speed at it? Oh, uh, we're really excited. We like to uh, showcase what we got going on here. Uh, a lot of changes have gotten uh, taken place, and you know a lot of things are a lot different than they've used to be in the past. So we're excited to go out there and show everybody what we've been working on and give everybody a little show and uh, see what we can do, you know, have a little fun. All right, thanks, fellas. Keep up the good work. Thank you. We're joined by Angelo State quarterback and wide receiver coach uh, Theron H. Uh, coach H, uh, talk about today's practice a little bit and uh, what, what you like out there. I tell you what, uh, the biggest thing I saw from uh, Friday to today was uh, uh, we challenged the offense in a private meeting on Saturday morning. And uh, they had a choice to come out and practice practice flat or come out and really get after some folk. And obviously they chose the latter of the two. So it was fun today. I mean, it was really exciting. Uh, looked like college football. I think the boys are starting to respond now to what we're teaching. And we got a lot of buy-in. So it was fun to see us uh, breaking some long plays. It seemed like both sides um, pretty intense out there. A lot of, uh, I guess, a lot more vocal on, on both sidelines. Uh, is that nice to see? Yeah, it is, especially uh, from an offensive standpoint. Uh, we're asking the guys to communicate with each other, especially as you notice we've started going to go into more nonverbal communication, so they have to rely on each other now because the coaches aren't necessarily telling them what to do. So uh, that's really good to see the final week that they're really starting to come together. I think they've gelled and started to figure out what the process is, how the tempos work. Um, so it's really good to see those guys just today feel comfortable enough where they can go out, talk to each other, say what they have to say, and make a play. So. All right, we, we just talked about, uh, or we just talked with some of the wide receivers. Um, you talked about going out and making a play. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of playmakers back uh, with Dakari and, and CJ that have, have pretty significant experience. Uh, you talk about the group that you have and, and what you like from there? Yeah, the good news is that's uh, that's only two of uh, several that are, are playmakers, in my opinion. I mean, we've got some guys that are coming up that are younger, uh, Donnell Harris, Excel Osborne, uh, Mackenzie Hurd. I mean, there's several guys that uh, I must say have really stepped up this spring. Uh, I've seen improvement day to day, and that's really all I've asked them to do. And that's been the challenge, and they've all stepped up and done it. Uh, even the younger guys that uh, you know haven't gotten a lot of reps maybe early on are really starting to make themselves known now. So it, it, we're really deep at receiver so uh, I'm curious to see how it's going to end up by the spring game. 
new offensive scheme, uh, how, how much um, of the total package have you all put in and, and how's it coming together? Good question. Uh, I tell you what, we've really probably, it's hard to say. I mean, this offense is very diverse. I mean, I would probably can make up a number and say there's probably 40% of it in, but uh, the good thing is uh, we haven't even begun to tap into some of the things that we can do with this offense. Big thing was we're looking for right now is to really get the kids to buy into fundamentally what we're going to do from there. We can add and do a lot of different looks and really keep defenses on their toes. So uh, I'd say we progressed really, really far considering where we where we were day one. Okay, the uh, receivers obviously on the receiving end of the ball, uh, somebody's got to get it to them. Uh, <laughs> you talk about the, the group that you have competing right now and, and what you like from that group. Uh, yeah, right now uh, Blake Co- uh, Blake Hamlet excuse me, has been taking uh, uh, the majority of snaps with the first group, followed by Mike Cochran, who's uh, been uh, hobbled a little bit with some injuries, but he's really come back uh, strong. He understands the offense. He's got a lot of experience. Both of those two actually have game experience, so that helps. Uh, we've got a couple of new guys that have joined the program uh, this spring. Uh, John Chalala, who's really getting him some depth and uh, he's pretty fast if anybody's seen him practice so uh, he's fun to watch out there and you never know what he's going to do and Tyler Lloyd's and also a new guy who's really coming to the program that's uh, been able to give us a little bit of depth there so so really it's been a real tough competition so uh, I'm not sure who the, who the guy is yet but uh, but uh, we're really really competitive so that's good okay um, another chance to compete uh, obviously a couple more practices before uh, you're done but a chance to compete on Sunday with the spring game uh, what are you looking forward to there uh, I tell you what, I think the guys are looking forward to just being in a relaxed and a game setting. You know, one thing uh, about the spring is the tough part is it's hard to get guys motivated to go out and bang each other for 15 days. Uh, that's that's always a challenge. Doesn't matter where you are, what level, whatever the case may be. So it's kind of nice to have a reward of the spring games for the kids to be able to get out in front of the crowd. Uh, uh, we should have a beautiful day. We have hopefully a lot of people show up. Um, so I think uh, just to see them play in a true game setting for the first time is probably the biggest thing I'm excited for. And, and uh, like you said, we've got a lot of depth and. Uh, I'm curious to see who's going to really step up and make plays. All right, Coach, thanks so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you.